Southpaw vs. Orthodox, The Eternal Struggle. Let's talk fighting, baby. This is where the magic happens, where legends are born, and where the true essence of combat is revealed. Southpaw vs. Orthodox, a tale as old as combat sports themselves. From the ancient arenas to modern-day rings, this clash has always been a spectacle. It's a matchup that always gets the blood pumping. The crowd roars, the tension builds, and every punch thrown could be a game-changer. Why? Because it's about more than just throwing hands. It's about strategy, advantage, and exploiting the unexpected. It's a chess game with fists, where every move counts. Whether you're a seasoned pro or just starting your journey in martial arts, understanding the dynamics of Southpaw versus Orthodox is crucial. It's the foundation upon which many fighters build their careers. In the heat of battle, that knowledge can be the difference between victory and defeat. It's the edge that separates the champions from the contenders. We're going deep, unpacking the science, the stats, and the strategies. We'll break down the nuances that make this matchup so fascinating. Plus, we'll analyze how the greats, the legends, like Conor McGregor and Manny Pacquiao, have used these stances to dominate their opponents, their techniques, their mindset, and their adaptability. Get ready to level up your fight IQ. We'll provide insights that can transform your approach to training and competition. This is Southpaw vs. Orthodox, the ultimate breakdown, Join us as we dive into the heart of this eternal struggle, exploring every angle and every tactic. Let's get started. All right, let's break it down to the fundamentals. In fighting, your stance is everything. It's the foundation from which you launch attacks and defend yourself. Orthodox fighters, they're the majority. Their left foot is forward, right foot back. Their left hand is their jab, right hand the power shot. Southpaw fighters, the mirror image. Right foot forward, left foot back. Jab comes from the right hand, power from the left. Simple, right? But that one switch up changes everything. Angles, timing, footwork, it all gets flipped on its head. Ever wonder why Southpaws seem to have an edge? It's not just about being different. There's actual science behind it. Our brains are hardwired to process information from orthodox fighters more easily because they're more common. Think about it, most people are right-handed, so we're used to seeing punches coming from that side. A southpaw's attacks? Our brains take a split second longer to process them, and in fighting, a split second is an eternity. This unfamiliarity factor gives southpaws a significant advantage, especially in the early rounds. Their opponents are forced to adapt and readjust their entire game plan on the fly. Don't just take my word for it, let's look at the stats. Studies have shown that Southpaw fighters consistently win a higher percentage of their fights across various combat sports. In boxing, for example, some studies suggest Southpaws have a win rate of close to 60%, significantly higher than the average. And it's not just about the element of surprise. Southpaws often have more powerful lead hands, as they're using their dominant hand to throw their power punches. These numbers paint a clear picture. Being a Southpaw can give you a competitive edge. But remember, Stats are just one piece of the puzzle. Section five, entering the matrix of advanced concepts. Now, things get really interesting. We're going beyond the basics and diving into the advanced stuff. When it comes to Southpaw versus Orthodox, it's a chess match. Each stance has its own set of strengths, weaknesses, and strategic advantages. Orthodox fighters, for example, often have a powerful right cross and a strong jab, which they can use to control distance. Southpaws, with their lead left hand, can unleash devastating straight lefts and left hooks. But it's not just about individual punches, it's about understanding footwork, angles, and creating openings. A skilled fighter can use their stance to manipulate their opponent's positioning, setting them up for powerful counterattacks. Section 6, Legends of the Ring, Southpaw, and Orthodox Masters. The best way to understand the nuances of Southpaw versus Orthodox is to study the greats who've mastered these stances. These fighters have not only excelled in their respective styles but have also left an indelible mark on the sport of boxing and mixed martial arts. Let's start with the legendary Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao, a Southpaw who terrorized opponents with his blinding speed and power. His ability to switch angles and deliver punches from unexpected directions made him a formidable opponent in the ring. His lead left hand was a weapon of mass destruction, and his footwork was poetry in motion. Pacquiao's agility and quick reflexes allowed him to evade punches and counter with precision, making him one of the most exciting fighters to watch. 
Then you have Conor McGregor, a master of using his southpaw stance to create angles and land his signature left straight. McGregor's unorthodox approach and confidence in the ring have earned him a reputation as one of the most unpredictable fighters in mixed martial arts. He understands the element of surprise and utilizes it ruthlessly. McGregor's ability to read his opponents and exploit their weaknesses has led to some of the most memorable knockouts in the sport. On the orthodox side, we have fighters like Floyd Mayweather Jr., whose precision and defensive mastery are unparalleled. Mayweather's ability to anticipate his opponent's moves and counter with pinpoint accuracy has made him one of the greatest defensive fighters of all time. He uses his jab like a scalpel, controlling distance and dictating the pace of the fight. Mayweather's footwork and defensive skills have allowed him to outmaneuver and outthink his opponents, securing his place as a boxing legend. These are just a few examples of the countless fighters who've elevated their respective stances to an art form. Each fighter brings their unique style and strategy to the ring, demonstrating the versatility and complexity of both southpaw and orthodox stances. By studying their techniques, you can gain invaluable insights into the intricacies of southpaw versus orthodox. Whether you're a fighter looking to improve your skills or a fan wanting to understand the sport better, analyzing these masters can provide a deeper appreciation for the art of boxing and mixed martial arts. Section 7, Hybrid Vigor, Blending Styles for Unpredictability. Here's where it gets really fun, breaking the rules. While mastering one stance is crucial, the ability to seamlessly switch between southpaw and orthodox can elevate your game to a whole new level. This is where we talk about switch hitters, fighters who can effortlessly transition between stances, keeping their opponents constantly guessing. Think of Terence Crawford in boxing, a master of both stances who uses his versatility to create confusion and exploit openings. By blending styles, you introduce an element of unpredictability into your game. You force your opponent to adapt on the fly, disrupting their timing and rhythm. Section 8, your style, your weapon, choosing your stance. So, you're ready to step into the ring or the octagon or the mat, but you're wondering, southpaw or orthodox? This decision is crucial as it can significantly impact your performance and strategy in a fight. The truth is there's no one-size-fits-all answer. The best stance for you depends on your individual strengths, weaknesses, and fighting style. It's about finding what works best for you, but not just what is traditionally recommended. If you're naturally left-handed and feel more comfortable with your left side forward, southpaw might be the way to go. This stance can give you a strategic advantage, as it often throws off opponents who are used to fighting right-handed fighters. If you're right-handed and want to maximize the power of your right cross, orthodox could be the better option. This stance allows you to utilize your dominant hand for powerful strikes, making it a popular choice among fighters. The key is to experiment, try both stances, and see what feels most natural and powerful for you. Spend time in each stance during training sessions, sparring, and drills to truly understand how each one affects your movement and striking. Don't be afraid to seek guidance from experienced coaches who can help you refine your technique and maximize your potential. Coaches can provide valuable insights and adjustments that you might not notice on your own. Remember, the right stance can be a game changer in your fighting career, so take the time to choose wisely and train diligently. Section 9, Final Round, it's about more than just stance. Remember, while your stance is a fundamental element of fighting, it's just one piece of the puzzle. True mastery comes from developing a well-rounded skill set that encompasses footwork, head movement, defense, timing, and of course, a killer instinct. Train hard, study the greats, and never stop evolving your game. The world of combat sports is constantly changing, and the only way to stay ahead is to embrace the journey of continuous improvement. So get out there, put in the work, and who knows, maybe one day we'll be analyzing your highlight reel, marveling at your mastery of southpaw or orthodox. Stay hungry, my friends.